It's your boy, the mixologist, DJ Chris Love. I'd like to give a big shout out to Chris D, who put this whole Atlantic City weekend together. Uh, very much needed for everybody who never did nothing since this pandemic. Had uh, enjoyed myself. It was off the chain. Uh, did my thing last night. Um, so for the people who don't know, you now know that. Oh, by the way, get your flash drives. Hit me up on uh, Facebook, Instagram, DJ Chris Love, the number one. Or oh, hit me up, 917-293-1326. Shout out to everybody who came out this weekend in Atlantic City. Shout out to DJ Mario Diamond Video TV. Peace. Bigging up my people's diamond video. I had a great time here tonight in Atlantic City. Please, guys, catch me on my um, follow me on my Instagram, Mike Troy Zero Zero. Catch me soon. Catch me soon. Catch me soon.
It's your boy, Sean Harvey. We are in Atlantic City. We are sold out all weekend. But the best part about this weekend here in Atlantic City is that Diamond Video is in the building. And they are videotaping the whole entire weekend. If you're not here, you missed it. But you guys be safe out there. It's your boy, Sean Harvey. I am in the building. Old school junkie. Let's go. All right, America, right here. This is the man of the hour. How do you feel tonight? I feel good. I feel blessed. I feel hopeful. I feel thank you for everybody that came out. We're going to do this again in October, and we did it up. Thank you for Elise with the room rentals and the helpful and all that. We're going to do it right. I keep it tight. It is. Everything going to be open fully. So we can do it now. We're going to do it again. Big up. Much bigger. Comedy Weekend. Thank you for everybody that helped out. 347-239-0523. Slinky CD Entertainment in the building, baby. Thank y'all for coming out. Claridge Hotel, AC in the building. We open. All day. The man right here, the man of the hour. The man, the brains behind the organization. We're going to walk around and say hi to a few of the comedians. That's what we're doing right now at the Claridge. Comedy Weekend is finally here. Coming to the stage right now, this brother started doing radio with me. He went on, progressed, got his own morning show. It's called the Sean Harvey Morning Show. Got a serious following. We're getting ready to go to Costa Rica with the Queen of Comedy, Samoa. This brother is on the trip. One of my very good friends in comedy. You're going to love his old school style of comedy. Give it up for my man, all the way from Pennsylvania and New York City, Sean Harvey. Let's go, y'all. Clap it up. Let's go. Clap it up. Like my mother say, thank God for Jesus. This is what we're going to do. I just celebrated my 56th birthday. Y'all give it up for me. Come on. Come on. Let's go. So let's take a journey back to the days the way we used to shock in the man. Y'all ready? Come on. Just throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And if you're at the spot and you're looking fly, everybody say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And all the ladies in the house, pretty ladies in the house, sexy ladies in the house. All the ladies in the house say, ow. Come on, Al. Cut that shit off, nigga. That's that old school shit. That's where I'm from. Thank God for Jesus. These young fly niggas can kiss my ass. <laughs> I remember back in the days when you took a tray bag of weed, you bought it, you got 17 joints out the bag. The fuck out of here. You bought that bag on Friday, it lasts to Monday in our day. Not like these young blood smoking niggas. <laughs> you see these niggas, they go right into the bodega. Yo, poppy, let me get a strawberry, vanilla, raspberry, morning scented, honeydew flavor, lemon and lime, sour cream style Dutch. You bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Back in our day, we took a sheet of big bamboo. A sheet of easy water. Put the weed, the seeds, and the stem in the joint. <laughs> Lift the weed up. Weed used to pop in 1979. Your niggas kiss my ass. Back in the days when you had no heat in your apartment, had to put the oven on 550 degrees. <laughs> Boil you water on the top of the stove. <laughs> Kitchen 700 degrees. <laughs> Bedroom in the back minus four. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You open up that door, mommy smack the shit out of you. Close the door. What? <laughs> back in the days when domestic violence was legal, nigga. <laughs> My father punched my mother in the face. My mother stabbed that nigga with a fork and we sat down and kept eating dinner. <laughs> we had no therapy back in our day. Fuck out of here. You got a black eye, you wore that motherfucker. What? Back 
back in the days when women had hair on their vaginas, nigga. <laughs> Give it up for my ladies back there. They still got hair on the motherfucking vagina. Y'all clap for them. They got the Pam Greer pussies. <laughs> back in the 80s, you had to fight the power pussies, nigga. You had to unbraid the cornrows to get to the pussy in 79. <laughs> ladies, back in the days when the jelly shoes came out, remember those? <laughs> and when you took them off, had the imprint on your foot for four days. <laughs> You're jumping double dutch with the big titties. Y'all <laughs> niggas is crazy in here. You addicted to cell phones thinking you the shit? Young niggas is swipe, swipe, touch and send. Your iPhone bitch ass niggas. We ain't had no cell phones back in my day. We didn't even have beepers. Came outside with quarters, nickels, and dimes and used the pay phone. And when you ran out of nickels, you was like, bitch, call me back at 212-657-765. Y'all think, what the, what? 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 What's wrong with you people? What? Thank God for Jesus. I saw this young girl early today, right here in Atlantic City when we was chilling. She had a little baby, was 11 months old. The baby just started walking. God bless the baby. The baby walking in uptowns. That shit is crazy to me. I was born in the early 60s. When I started walking, my mother put on the original hard bottoms. The Buster Browns. The all white with the wood. <laughs> <laughs> when I started walking, I walked just like that. <laughs> this is how niggas walk. <laughs> I walk like this now because my balls are too long. <laughs> Everybody here fly as fuck, thank God. <laughs> my name is Sean, I'm from the Bronx, New York. BX or B next. I went to the worst high school on earth, player. James Monroe High School. The shit was so bad, my father was in my class. <laughs> this nigga 37, I'm 17. We both getting left back. <laughs> Here in the hallway, where the bitches at? And I got love for y'all, man. It's a good look. Everybody's in here. And I, they don't have the hookah in here. Y'all smoking hookah. That's crazy. I'm going to let y'all know I survived the crack years. Y'all clap for me, man. I survived the crack years. I used to sell crack to myself. <laughs> I used to rob myself, nigga. And y'all smoking that hookah thinking you're the shit. I see you on Instagram. What I want to see, though, you smoke that ho hookah, I want to put some crack in that motherfucker. And I want you to smoke it. And I want to let you know how it feels now. Damn, it's a lot of people here. Welcome to the super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> COVID in the parking lot, word, when they coming out, son. <laughs> My name is Sean, and check this out. Fellas in the back, fly guys, I got an announcement I want to make to y'all. Y'all getting that money and y'all talking. I want to say this to you cats. Y'all give it up for me. All my child support is paid, zero balance. Come on. No, 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 come on, man, come on. Come on now, that thing. Come on. Niggas die with a child support balance, nigga. And when they pay, when you pay your child support, they give you a certificate. The shit says nigga free. I had 
a child support party. My son looked like somebody young kid like this. I mean, man, excuse me. It's a little nigga right here. <laughs> this nigga jerk off four times a day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga sperm hit the fucking wall and land on his forehead. That's how fast that shit. <laughs> My fault, nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't staying long. I got God in my life. And my swag is up. I'm 56. My wife is 37. That's a good look for me. <laughs> Yo, you ain't fucked my wife, did you, nigga? <laughs> and this pretty nigga over here. <laughs> Y'all clap for the two pretty niggas in this motherfucker. <laughs> These niggas wake up in the morning. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. <laughs> now I gotta go. But I wanna say this before I go. Thanks, Ray, for the time. There's a lot of couples in here, and that's a good look. And fellas, I want y'all to acknowledge your ladies tonight because it's your uncle speaking to you. The women that you with tonight is who you meant to be with. Don't take that for granted because I don't want what happened to you happen to me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened to me. I ran into my ex-wife with her new man and that nigga looked beautiful. That nigga was winning, he was 6'3", with the white Thames fitted, looked like Luke Cage. My wife, ex-wife, 47, new nigga, 37, putting brand new dick in my ex-wife. And ladies, when you get a new dick, you know your skin clear up, your swag game is crazy, your teeth whiten up, you're doing this shit, you're talking shit to me. <laughs> Fellas, are you listening to me? This some real shit. This nigga fly as fuck. He driving a 2029 Suburban in 2021. I didn't even know the 29s were out yet, nigga. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? My ex-wife invited this nigga to my mother's house. My mother was like, why are you here be more like Luke? What the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> Fellas, are you listening to me? Then my ex-wife called me. She was like, I want to come to the comedy show, right? I always let her in. She was like, I want to bring the new nigga, Luke. No. I said, cool, you free, that nigga got to pay $60. <laughs> if he putting sperm on your forehead, he got to pay. I'm from the Bronx, nigga. But I had to let him in because I didn't want to know that he was winning and I was losing. Oh. Fellas, are you listening to me? So they pull up in the club with the 29. <laughs> These niggas are so fly, they float into the club. <laughs> Fellas, are you listening to me? Are you listening? I go, they, they in the back, they ordering the wings with the seven dipping sauces. It's some fly shit. So guess what, family? Luke came walking over to me. This nigga was like, Sean, what's up, man? You funny as fuck. Let's go to the bar, what you drinking? That's what he said to me. I'm a drink. I was like, let me get two double coconut Chiracs and 17 Heinekens. <laughs> We get twisted, right? I get drunk, I'm twisted, we spend $200. Fellas, listen to this. I see my ex-wife from the corner of my eye and I forgot how fat that ass was. I forgot how we had Bible studies on Tuesday. I forgot how she rocked my nuts on Saturday. And while this nigga buying drinks in my mind, I'm thinking I want my ex-wife back. You listening, niggas? So I get drunk, guess what? They take me home in the 29. <laughs> I'm in the back seat of the 29, drunk as fuck. My ex-wife on the phone in the front seat talking to her girl. Yeah, I'm taking Sean drunk ass home. 
right? <laughs> Boom, we get home, right? Guess what I did? Pulled out the old wedding pictures. We got married in Pelham Bay Park in the Bronx. And then for a moment, family, young cat, you know what I thought? I said, I want my ex-wife back. So I said, I'm a caller. I don't care how Luke is winning. I don't care about that 29. I don't give a fuck. I got two kids by this woman. So you know what? At 3 o'clock in the morning, I called my ex-wife. On the second call ring, Luke picks up the phone. This nigga's like, yo, Sean, what's good, man? Everything all right, man, yo? Great hanging out with you tonight, bro. You funny motherfucker, man, yo. What's your Instagram, nigga, man? I didn't even know what to say as a grown-ass man. I said the dumbest shit before I hung up the phone. I was like, uh, nigga, uh, I had the pussy first. <laughs> Hey, Sean Harvey, man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for the love. Let's go, everybody. Let's go, man. I appreciate y'all.